Hi, I'm Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I bought a bad typewriter on purpose. A typewriter so bad that the keys on this machine don't even belong to it and were glued in with wood glue. Original Royal 10 typewriter keys are composed of a piece of paper with a letter printed on it featuring either a white or black background, a piece of round glass to protect that paper letter, and finally a silver colored ring with tabs to attach to the bottom of the key. This typewriter actually had plastic green key tops, which looks suspiciously similar to that of my 1950s Royal Portable typewriters. I was encouraged by the protruding glue at the tops of these keys, hoping that underneath there might be some original plastic inserts, sort of like that of my Underwood machines. In order to see if there was in fact hardwood floors under these ugly carpets, I decided to remove all of the key tops. I used my mother's steam cleaner to heat up the glue attached to these keys and pop them out of the key bar cup thing that I'm going to call it. The steamer works by heating up the water and releasing it through a small pressurized hose to concentrate the steam to a specific point. It's often used for cleaning and today it's melting glue. This process took me hours because I had to point the steamer at the point at which the glue would meet the top of the key cup and try to pry it out from that same side. Sometimes it would come out easily, and sometimes I struggled. And I burned myself on steam, repeatedly. It was slow going, but I finally removed all the keys from their cups, and then I noticed how the base of the glue, or the underneath of the key topper, looked dark. Almost black, like it contained a piece of plastic that could maybe be a key topper. I was so hopeful that there was still something in there, so I broke out the steamer again, set to burn myself, I mean, remove the plastic green key tops from the blackened base. This was difficult. I had to hold the key, trying not to with my fingers, and then wedge an object between the two elements. I tried a butter knife, not a sharp one because that would be a horrible idea, a screwdriver, and so on. I kept prying and prying at the keys, buggering up all the sides until I realized there was no key to be found. I had just removed the most interesting part of this typewriter, the wonkiest bit and I had no keys to show for it. I was full of regret. I tried sourcing new key tops by looking at the traditional places, eBay, Etsy, and even OfferUp. I didn't want to necessarily support a key chopper or someone who removes typewriter keycaps for jewelry, but I didn't think I had much of a choice. These options were expensive. Often the sets were not all the same color, size, or shape, implying that they all came from different machines. I planned to use some sort of knife to pry up the tabs on the bottom to put the key bars on, because I still had those in my machine, but that could result in breaking a tab on one of those silver bands, making it never stick properly to the top of your key cup. There is a tool for this, but I don't have it, and the ones that are out there are also expensive. It was also impossible to tell if the ones online would fit my typewriter. Then my savior came in the form of a response to my post in the Antique Typewriter Collector's Facebook group. A typewriter collector had recently purchased a KMM typewriter which arrived completely damaged and unfixable. They decided to part it out and had a full set of keys for me if I had wanted them. I immediately messaged him and 35 bucks later, my keys were on their way. I thought that he might just send me the key tops like a key chopper would, but instead he sent me the entire key bar, which made it possible for me to just set the entire bar brand new from the KMM without ever removing the key tops. I was lucky that almost all the bars actually fit into the Royal 10, despite being close to 20 years older than the other model. All except the shift key bars fit. These had to be removed from the bars that he had sent me and put on the original shift mechanism. Putting these key bars in was a massive task, but made possible because I had completely disassembled the typewriter down to the frame in order to repaint it. Yes, that's right, we're going to repaint it. So I have the parts ready for this machine, including the keys. Let's take it apart in the next episode. If you're interested in learning more about this typewriter or the others in my collection, check out the other videos on this YouTube channel. We also have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter where we feature all of the typewriter antics I'm up to. I want to thank you all so much for watching today and remind you that you're just my type, writer.